Jalaluddin Rumi's story, The Old Harpist. Gifted musicians were select and scarce in the past, but it was under the time of the famed Khalifa Omar that a talented harp player rose to prominence. Spectators were enthralled by his voice, the lovely sound of his instrument, and his engaging demeanor, and they lavished him with cash every time he performed. Years passed, passed, and the musician's voice lost its lovely quality as he grew older. People didn't like him anymore, and the more he attempted to song, sing, the more his voice sounded like a donkey's brain. People would push him away, and by the time he was 70, he was destitute and jobless. He eventually reached the end of his rope and turned to God for help. My Allah, you have blessed me with a long life, yet I have seen Despite the fact that I never appreciated your goodness, you never abandoned me and always provided me with my daily bread. But now that I am old and frail, I don't have such a lovely voice. In fact, people are revolted by my singing despite the fact that they used to love it. I swear to you, my beloved, that from today I will only play and sing for you and no one else. He sighed and began walking toward the village cemetery wishing for some privacy. He found the graveyard deserted as he moved silently through it, swirling between gravestones until he found a place to sit. He sat down as comfortably as he could and began to play his harp to his heart's content till he was completely fatigued and fell asleep. He had a dream that he was in a lush meadow with his soul's wing fully stretched, lifting him gently toward the sun. He desired with all his heart to be able to float in the air indefinitely, but Fate would not allow it because his time on earth was not yet up. At the same time, Caliph Umar, who was in his palace, fell asleep in the middle of the day, which was unusual for him, and had a dream in which God ordained him as follows, Omar, it's time for you to cater to my distinguished subject. He is sound asleep among the gravestones. Take 700 dinars from the public cash you collect on my behalf and give it to him as his salary. Tell him to come back to you. When he is finished with it, with anxiety, Omar awoke, realizing the gravity of his dream. He dashed to the cemetery and searched but all he found was an old man sleeping by a grave with an ancient harp by his side. He wasn't convinced at first that this could be God's unique subject, so he looked for more information but to no effect. Finally, he came to the conclusion that the harpist was the man he was supposed to find. Omar sat calmly alongside the old man, early unwilling. To disturb him because he appeared to be in such a tranquil state. But then he sneezed. The old guy awoke, startled, and spotted the regal figure seated next to him with his heart in his mouth. He began pleading with God to save him from the angel of death. No need to be afraid of me, dear one. Omar comforted him. I have brought you wonderful tidings. In fact, Allah has praised you tremendously and has asked me to convey his blessings to you. He is also sent you 700 dinars in compensation for your unpaid pay. You are supposed to come back to me 
for more when you have used it up the elderly musician couldn't believe what he was hearing and became even more upset than before he let out a outbreak heartbreaking howl tore off his shredded shirt and bit into his own hand tremendously agitated you have degraded me into nothingness one and only allah he sobbed as he stood up and wandered aimlessly across the cemetery he stumbled back in time to discover omar with his heart in the same position as previously he snatched up his priceless instrument and shattered it on a neighboring gravestone in one swift swing ruining his only source of income he chastised the heart saying you have been the wheel between god and me you are the one who led me away from his altar you have sucked my blood and humiliated me in front of my creator for nearly 70 years he said as he bashed the harp repeatedly reducing it to minuscule silvers of wood he said i seek your forgiveness my god throughout this long life you have given me i have seen i have spent it singing and performing music forgetting about the misery of being apart from you and i alone am to blame to blame for my sorrow and shame he admitted please save me from myself for my worst advers- adversary is within me closer than my own pitiful soul omar reassured the disturbed harpist telling him that he needed to let go of both his past and his future since he was still caught between them this indicated he was not yet one with god and had not fully trusted the creator the old musician felt a purer light rising in his heart and compassing his body and soul as he listened to omar's wise remarks he felt as he was letting go of the world he had known up until and until that point and he found himself in a different realm free of superficiality a world that demanded a different understanding one in which no words were left to express and solitude and stillness were the order of the day